Oh, it's really otherworldly under here. It's another cave. Whoa, really? Yeah. It's an archaeological artifact. To help identify the mysterious finding, I turned to artificial intelligence for analysis. Oh, look how far down it goes. Bro, that's a bone. Oh, wow. The oldest of them could go all the way back to the Ice Age. In the late 1960s, archaeologists exploring central Colombia identified three late Pleistocene sites, including the Alabra rock shelters, dated to 10,400 BC, which feature hundreds of red ochre pictograms, petroglyphs, and megafauna remains. It is known Elabra was situated on the shoreline of the great Paleolake Humboldt at 2,570 metres or 8,430 feet above sea level. We plotted this altitude across hills in the Bogota Sabana, revealing a series of Ice Age islands. Above the town of Tenho, the foothills of La Peña de Huayca are riddled with caves and sacred indigenous shrines featuring hundreds of pictograms and 26 enormous monoliths, which were abandoned in the 16th century after the arrival of the Spanish conquistadors. Jay and I are at the Ten Hole Monoliths. 26 enormous stones with pictograms. It's suspected that some of the pictograms go back into the Younger Dryas period Oh, the Lord. I'm just... Oh, Ash, look down here, man. Oh, wow, look. Look at that, it's a cave. Deep as well. And it goes all the way under there, look. Does it go along? Let, let's go right past and see what we can find on the other side of it, man. Oh, wow. Oh, Ash, look at this, man. Wow. We need to get in there, definitely. Check. That goes underneath this enormous monolith. It does. We're on top of the monolith, G. We are. And soon we'll be underneath the monolith. Oh, we're on top of the world. That's a long drop, man. Be careful, actually. This isn't at all dangerous. No, not at all dangerous. We've been in more dangerous places than this, mate, but someone's got to do it. And as you always say, without danger, there's no progress. So let's go. Jay and I have found an enormous monolith halfway up the Ten Ho Hills, and we've discovered a dugout sort of cave alcove underneath the monolith. So the two of us are gonna go in underneath to see if we can find pictograms, bones, teeth, signs of fire, and possibly even tools from some bygone age. We definitely have signs of fire in this corner. This is blackened, covered in like a soot tar on top of the rock, yep. and on the back wall as well. Right, Jay, can we go down through there? I think we can, Ash, and I think we will. Let's go, man. Let's do it. Again, Jay goes first, because I'm filming. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Ucha. You. Oh my God, it's pitch black. Yep. Can you see? I, I can see. I'm pretty good at seeing in the dark. And there's a little bit of natural light as well. Okay. Yeah, you can see him. Wow. 
okay we're underneath the monolith now this is a I mean there's several hundred tons in this stone oh it's really otherworldly under here the color the smell it's totally silent it's a dank moisture in the air are you along there I'm, I'm right at the end here Ash I'm just checking this rock from I love this okay there's Jay at the other end of the tunnel. And I'm going to try and climb down because there's another cave down here. No way. Yeah, massive, massive cave, man. Another massive monolith. No way. Yeah. Let, let me slide down because this is a bit sketchy. Right. Careful with these thorns there, man. They're some terrible. Oh, look at them. There we go, there's the cave, man. Right. Oh, Jay, I've only got my legs. I, I can't use my hands because I've got the tripod and the right, camera. Are you going to pass me down the camera and stuff? Nah. Bill? I'm going to pass you the tripod because I'm going to film my descent. Is it? Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Nice. You all right? Look at this. It's another cave. Wow. That's crazy. You can stand up. Okay, do you want to lead the way that way? Yeah, man. Look at this here, Jay. This central stone. Like an altar in the cave. See it? Yeah, it's very central, man. It goes all the way up here, too. Are you going to go up? Get in there, though, in the darkest, highest part. That this isn't probably the wisest thing to do, is it? Um, Think about the collapse. It's not going to collapse, is it? No, go. It's not going to collapse. I might. Can you see any? It's just going. Look on the ground for sign any. I mean, goodness, artifacts or sharpening lines from weapons or tools that were sharpened in the rocks. Oh. There he goes. Do you want the torch? Oh. Careful, guys. Careful, careful. Keep your eyes peeled on the roof, too. I don't know what that is, but I'll look at it. What is, what have you found there? It's a, uh, it seems like a rounded metal artifact. I have no idea what that is. Is that a shell? It could be a shell or it's metal. I'm not sure. Put the torch on that, Jay. What have you found here? It's a hole though, Ash, look at it. Is it clay? It's clay, is it? It's a small clay pot, I think. Whoa, really? Yeah. That's an archeological artifact, Jay. I bet this is an offering pot, perhaps. Could very well be, man. Like, look how delicate it is. Where did you find that exactly? It's here behind this rock, man, in this in this opening here. Could you see if there's any more that you're missing? It's clay. It's clay. It's perfectly hollowed out and smoothed inside. We need to get this into the light to see if there's any fingerprints. You know? Let's go and see, Jay. What you find here is another level. You have found a little handmade clay pot. There we go. You've got fingerprints around the top. You can see how it's been finger pressed and then pushed on the bottom. Gee, wow, I'm absolutely stunned. And a clay pot at the deepest part of this cave. I can't believe you found that, I really can't. I'm telling you. I just can't believe you pulled a pot out of a cave. So it's worth getting up here, wasn't it? Oh. Do you come and see it? Let's see what it is. Look at it. Oh, that's beautiful, mate. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's definitely clay, isn't it? I'm not even going to pull that hair off, it will leave it untouched. 
If I light the wake, do you want to climb up into that chamber again? Yeah, go on then, Ash. Let me get up now. Watch yourself, though. Let's have some light further up. Right, Jay. Could you take the torch and light the way up for me? I'm coming up. I'll take it up. Right. Careful. Yeah. Careful, because that's moving. What's moving? Well, oh, these rocks here is moving just. Hang on, let me get that torch. Jay, could you show me where you found the little clay pot? It was just here, mate. Behind this rock, man, in this in this opening here. Could you see if there's any more that you're missing? What about up in here? Shine it up to the top, right up to the top of the bag. Did you get up there? No, and I'm not going up there either. He can go up there. Isn't it? Right, I'm going to... I, I wouldn't mess around. I really wouldn't get on that. I, that. That could fucking all collapse down on top of you, mate. I really would not do that. I'm going to get to this first bit. Oh, I wouldn't. Why? Because I, I don't think this is safe. Really? Yeah, I think this could all fucking come down. Ask me the torch and let me just have an explore the torch at least. Here, in case there's any more of these little pots. I want to see in case there's pictograms here at the deepest chamber. Right, J Bone. Get it? Oh, it's in this little gap here, look. Is that a bone? Or is yeah, it? no, it's... Oh, that's definitely a bone. That's a bone. 100%. Look at it. Save that, we'll have a look at that. Can you, can you take that? I'll take that and put it in my pocket. Right, great, a bone. So what else is up in here? No, Jay, I'm not going in there. No, don't go in there, mate. No chance. But let's have a see up here. Okay, we found a bone. Right, Jay, are you convinced there's no more ceramics? I'm pretty convinced we're not going to find any more in here, Ash. Really? Let's go and inspect this bone. Let's go. Okay. I'm just gonna jump down, mate. Okay. Right, so I'm gonna have to pass you. Yeah, go for it, man. The camera. There we go. Next yeah. one. All right. Perfect. Is it straight down here, Jay? Yeah, straight down, man. Be careful though, Ashley, because it's quite slippery. Okay. You don't want to trap an ankle or something in there. You're right. Yeah, it's really dusty. Because oh. no one's been in here for years, mate. Right. Look at that. Right, mate, let's have a look at this bone in the light. Right. Let me try and focus on that. Well, that looks old. It's certainly dry. Aged. Looks like a leg bone. I agree. That little hole through there for a tendon or a muscle. What is that, Jay? It's really old. Small animal. So it's really dry and yellowed. Can you see any tool marks on that? Oh, that's a good idea. That might show perhaps that the flesh had been stripped off it. Or it was used ritually. Yeah. I don't see any, but... We'd have to look under your magnifying glass. Do you have it there? Of course I do, Ash. Oh, okay. Do I make the phone glass to hand? Yes, you do, Sherlock. Sherlock Parker. Or Jay Holmes. Right, let's get that underneath the magnifying glass. I think we can see some evidence here of cutting, can't we? Where? Maybe in this piece here. Okay, let's see. Look in this here. Yeah, you hold that magnifying glass there and I'll move the bone. Yeah. And then it's kind of stable for a cursory look. Be better on a a desk static, but it gives the people watching an idea. Well, it's on site, isn't it? Maybe someone else will notice something we can't when we're doing this. Yeah, and what's more, Jay, is that if a predator had dragged, say, a rabbit or a small bird in there to eat it, you would have found the whole skeletal remains, but there's just one bone. The same as if a small animal had fallen down from above or gone in to die, there would be a full skeletal remains. 
Suggesting ritual use, maybe. Archaeologists will be having a seizure just now seeing me touch this bone, but it was lost in the back end of a cave, so my fingerprint in the middle, without me touching the ends, is going to do no harm. Let's get this tested, Jay. Yeah, definitely, mate. Yeah? Yeah. Super. Right, let's get this away in a little baggie. To help identify the mysterious find, I turned to artificial intelligence for analysis. I entered the following prompt. This small bone, approximately six inches long, was discovered alone in the depths of a cave in Colombia's Cundinamarca department. Interpret the bone and present a list of animals it might have belonged to. The bone's anatomy, a rounded joint head, elongated shaft and visible foramen, suggests it's a humerus or femur. Based on its proportions, it's unlikely to be human, rodent or reptilian, and it was almost certainly a limb bone used for movement or weight bearing. Possibly a primate or canine native to the region. Its yellowed, desiccated surface points to considerable age and prolonged exposure to the dry cave conditions. Additionally, what makes this discovery remarkable is its isolation. No other bones or debris were found nearby. Such undamaged, solitary finds deep within caves are often linked to ritual or symbolic use rather than natural causes. Its deliberate placement, far from light or habitation, suggests it may have been left as an offering, charm or ceremonial object. Given the location of the cave and the coloration of the bone, it's possible that it dates back to the younger Dryas at the end of the last ice age. Now, returning to the tiny clay pot. AI tells us that accurate dating would require thermal luminescence testing. What we do know is that the earliest pottery in South America appeared thousands of years after the Ice Age. The oldest examples come from Ecuador's Valdivia culture, about 5,600 to 4,600 years ago. So, while this tiny little vessel is unlikely to have been made during the Younger Dryas, its discovery in a Colombian cave is still extraordinary. Pottery almost never survives intact in cave contexts, especially in regions where looting and erosion have erased so much of the past. But because an Ice Age bone was also uncovered here, the pot suggests that this cave was no ordinary shelter but a deeply sacred place, revered and reused across millennia. Together, these ancient relics are priceless, rare, direct evidence of pre-Columbian craftsmanship and culture. A fragile fragment of history and true archaeological treasures. <laughs>